In Section 8, we will be servicing the 2SF and 4SF pumps. To service the valves, the discharge manifold must be removed. With a 6mm Allen wrench, remove the socket head screws. Then, with a soft mallet, tap the back side of the discharge manifold and gradually pull away from the inlet manifold. Support the discharge manifold from the underside. The discharge valve adapters may stay with either the discharge or inlet manifold. Gently work them up and down as you pull away from either manifold or use a screwdriver to pry from either manifold. The components for the valve assemblies can be easily removed by hand. Only one valve kit is needed for a valve servicing. A complete valve assembly includes a valve seat, valve, spring, and retainer, and there are three assemblies to a kit. Examine the spring retainer for wear or scale buildup and replace as needed. Then install the spring retainer into the discharge manifold chamber with the tab down. Next, examine the spring for fatigue or damage and place the new spring into the spring retainer. Examine the valve for pitting, grooves, or wear and replace. Place the valve over the spring with the concave side down. Then examine the valve seat for pitting, grooves, or wear and replace. Place the valve seat onto the valve also with the concave side down. Note. On the two SFX models, the seat and discharge valve adapter are one piece, and on the 4SF, the discharge adapter spacer and the male adapter are one piece. Examine the discharge valve adapter O-rings for damage or wear, and install the new O-rings on the 2SF adapter. On the 4SF adapter spacer, install both the O-rings and backup rings into the front and rear O-ring grooves. Lubricate the 2SF discharge valve spacer or 4SF adapter spacer and press into the discharge manifold chamber until completely seated. To service the seals, remove the inlet valve assembly from the exposed plunger rod. With a needle nose pliers, straighten out the cotter pin and remove from the nut. Note, on the X versions, there is no cotter pin. Then use a 10 millimeter hex tool to loosen and remove the nut. By hand or with the pliers, remove the washer, spring, spacer, and inlet valve. Grasp the inlet manifold from the front and underside and pull to remove from the plunger rods. Carefully examine the back of the low pressure seal before removing from the inlet manifold because it will be damaged during removal. Insert a flathead screwdriver under the low pressure seal and pry out. Exercise caution when removing the seal so the screwdriver does not score the inlet manifold wall. Press the ceramic plunger from the back side of the inlet manifold by hand. The high pressure seal may stay with the plunger or remain in the inlet manifold. If they stay in the inlet manifold, use the reverse pliers to remove them. If they stay on the plunger, slide off by hand. Note, on the 4SF models there is a female adapter, V-packing and male adapter rather than the high pressure seal. The female adapter and V-packing may stay on the plunger or in the inlet manifold and can be removed in the same fashion as the high pressure seal. Next, rotate the tab of the seal retainer to the open slot on the crankcase chamber. This is not necessary on the 4SF pumps. Then, use a needle nose pliers to pull the seal retainer from the crankcase. Examine the crankcase oil seal for any signs of deterioration. Examine the plunger rods for any deep scoring or scale buildup and replace as needed. Examine the seal retainer for any wear or damage and replace as needed. Slide the retainer over the plunger rod and place into position in the crankcase chamber with the slots lined up with those in the crankcase. On the 4SF, the holes in the seal retainer should be out and to the top and bottom and lined up with the slot in the crankcase seal chamber for best lubrication. Place the inlet manifold crankcase side up.
Lubricate the new low pressure seal and using a socket size to fit, press the seal into position with the garter spring down. Be certain the seal is seated squarely on the shoulder of the inlet manifold chamber. Invert the inlet manifold with the crankcase side down. Then examine the ceramic plungers for any scoring, cracks or chips and replace as needed. Examine the high pressure seal for wear or damage and replace as needed. Lubricate both the ceramic plunger and the new high pressure seal. Then insert the deeper recessed side of the plunger into the metal backside of the seal, centering the seal on the plunger. Install the plungers into the inlet manifold chamber with the deeper recessed side up and press into place using the discharge valve adapter. On the 4SF, examine the female adapter for scale buildup or wear and V-packings for damage or wear and replace. Place the new female adapter into the inlet manifold chamber with the V-groove facing up. Lubricate both the ceramic plunger and the V-packings and center the V-packings on the plunger with a deeper recessed side of the plunger facing the same direction as the V-groove on the packings. Insert the plungers into the inlet manifold chambers with the deeper recessed side up and press into place using the adapter spacer. Note, the S versions of the 4SF pumps now have a replaceable sleeve. Examine the sleeve for grooves or scale buildup and replace as needed. Grasp the sleeve by hand and pull from the plunger rod. Examine the O-ring and backup ring under the sleeve for cuts or wear and replace. Examine the barrier slinger for wear and replace as needed. Install the barrier slinger with the concave side facing away from the crankcase. Lubricate the plunger rod O-ring to avoid cutting during installation. Install the backup ring first, then the O-ring into the groove on the plunger rod. Next, install the sleeve with the tapered end facing out. Gently press towards the plunger rod shoulder until flush with the barrier slinger. Lubricate the plunger rods. Carefully install the inlet manifold over the plunger rod ends and press into the crankcase. Examine the inlet valve for pitting, deformity, or normal wear and replace. Install the inlet valve with the flat side toward the ceramic plunger. Note, the standard inlet valve is stainless steel, while the special high temp pump models use a special nylon inlet valve. Examine the spacer for wear and replace as needed. Install the spacer on the plunger rod with the smaller diameter end toward the inlet valve. Examine the spring for damage or fatigue and replace. Place the spring over the spacer and then the washer with the concave side toward the inlet manifold. Thread on the nut and torque to 55 inch pounds. Always install new cotter pins when used and turn the ends to secure. Carefully guide the discharge manifold with the spacers adapters over the plunger rod ends and press into the inlet manifold. Replace the socket head screws and torque to 115 inch pounds.